to be doing a get ready with me for the cotillion ball so today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a uh, makeup and outfit for what I wore to the cotillion ball so a couple little things I want to say before we get started is first of all if you don't know what cotillion is um, you can look it up <laughs> but it's basically an etiquette class where you learn dances and like formal dancing and you learn um, like etiquette things in general like manners and everything so that is why I had a ball I did have a holly ball but I also have a spring ball which is what I just went to last week um, and it was actually a lot of fun I had a lot of fun so this is formal attire so I did have to have a floor length dress that's why I thought it would be really pretty to show you guys what I wore so I wanted to show you guys what I did for my makeup as well because, I mean, I went all out for this. And for my makeup, I do want to say that I do not wear this much makeup at all on a daily basis, like at all. I just wanted to go all out because this is the cotillion ball, it's kind of a big deal. And I do want to thank my sister for helping me complete this look whenever it was actually the ball time. I kind of just recreated it, made it a little bit different whenever I showed you this in this video. Something else I do want to say is that I did do my hair different than just leaving it down and straight. I did curl it and do a little twisty thing in the back, but um, I will not show you that in this video just because I don't want this video to be super long. So yeah, without further ado, if you'd like to see how I got ready for my cotillion ball, go ahead and continue watching. So before I start off with my makeup, I'm just going to go ahead and put tape on the sides of my eyes, which you're probably like, what the heck, but um, it actually really helps you do your makeup whenever you're doing your eyeshadow because it helps it go in a completely straight line on the edges. So I just did that and then I just put on some primer and blending that out with my finger. Next, I'm just going in with my NYX Milk um, Eye Pencil, which is just a white base, and I'm just going to put that all over my eyelids to um, make sure that my eyeshadow is going to be really pigmented because honestly, this makes it so pigmented, and I love it so much. So I'm just making sure my eyelids get covered with that and then blending it out so it doesn't look as crazy as it does right now. So now for the actual fun part, I'm going to start off my eyeshadow by just taking a um, light pink color and putting this all over my lid and crease and outer V and inner corner and just everywhere um, to prepare for my eyeshadow. So then I'm going straight in with some glitter. So I'm going to take some glittery pink eyeshadow and apply this mostly into my inner corner but a lot on my lid because this is going to be the feature center of the look. I don't know where I'm going with this. So then I'm just taking um, a really dark brown slash black um, and I'm going to apply this into my outer V and crease to make sure the look has lots of definition and darken it up a bit. After I'm satisfied with that, I just removed the tape and blended it out a bit. Then I just um, took some white eyeshadow and put that straight onto my brow bone to highlight and finish up the eyeshadow. Once I did the other eye, I actually added something that I forgot to do before, and that was just lining my bottom lash line with a dark black color. Um, I think this is kind of like in place of an eyeliner because I don't want it to be too strong, but I want it to be a little smoky. So I just did that, and then I applied some mascara to my top and bottom lashes as usual.
Then for my brows, I'm going in with a tinted brow gel and making sure that my eyebrows are nice and cleaned up and filled in on the ends. Then going straight into my face makeup, I'm going to start off by putting a um, the Benefit Pore Freshenal onto my nose and around my nose to make sure that you can't see my pores. And then I'm going in with a concealer and basically putting this in a giant triangle underneath my eyes, but it is going to blend out to take over my whole face because it's basically like um, a foundation because I don't use foundation. So I'm just blending that all over my face and you see me do my forehead in a little bit. Says only just begun. In the end, time forever favors the young. And we said, this has only just begun. In the end, Next, I'm just going in with a powder, and um, gosh, <laughs> I'm powdering up my face so it doesn't look oily. And then lastly, well not lastly, I'm going in with a um, bronzer to make sure I have a nice contour. Then next, I'm taking a cream blush that is just a really nice pink flushy color and applying this to my cheeks and then blending it out. Then to complete the whole makeup look, I'm taking a matte pink lipstick and applying this to my lips and then I'm softening it up by just blotting and everything so that way it doesn't look as harsh. And yeah, that is it for the whole completed makeup look. And now moving on to what I wore and my dress and everything. Under face. 